Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. Man, what a fun segment that it was there with uh, Ramsey Russell of uh, GetDucks.com and our good friend and legend of the outdoors, Terry Denman. And uh, Bill Cooksey, one of our co said you need to get more on Russell. Ramsey Russell and hear his story, and I've I got to get it back, Bill. That sounds like it's yeah, uh, pretty what a story. fascinating. What um, a story. And this next guy's got quite a story, too. I mean, uh, he was part of the U.S. Uh, black bass team that went to the world championships down in Mexico. Uh, and I've understood from Ron that he also uh, announced his major league fishing debut uh, via video that was pretty cool with a trolling motor and a small boat or something like that, as That's Ron right. was saying. And but he sa- like he said, you don't need a live well. You don't need a live well, but this is a live guy. As they say on TV, you know they always go to those people live in the studio. There's never been a dead announcer in the studio. You know, I've <laughs> you know, never understood that. La- live in the street. All right? <laughs> we got live right now on Outdoors with Larry Ray James From Watson. Lemke. Missouri. Good good morning, guys. Hey, 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 guys get up way too early. Oh, uh, no, that's okay. Now, no, Ron, Ron's uh, a late fisherman, so he, he always fishes after the show. Let's talk about, James, I know a uh, wonderful career, professional bass fisherman. Uh, I know the world championship was held over in South Africa, it seemed like a year or so ago or two years. Yep. And, uh, and, uh, and now we've been to Mexico Tell our listeners the experience that, uh, that you and the guys uh, developed there. Well, I tell you what, we, we learned a lot last year, uh, the whole team, the whole U.S. team, uh, on how to attack this. And, I mean, <laughs> attack we, it. We, okay. all grew up, we all grew up fishing some buddy tournaments here and there. Uh-huh. And this was nothing more than a glorified <laughs> buddy tournament. It was. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. You just so, brought us all down to earth now. Okay. Yeah. So uh, Scott Martin is our team captain. Yeah. And Captain Scott. <laughs> Scott, Scott uh, asked us before we went to South Africa, hey, guys, you know, who, who's fished together before? Who's and, and, he, and he also, we all know each other's style. Yeah. Yeah. So. We sat down and Fred and I practiced together. Fred Robanis and I practiced together in South Africa, and we've fished together before. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we clicked. We get along great. Dudley got along great with uh, uh, well, this year Terry Bolton and uh, yeah. David Fritz. Yeah. You know. Uh-huh. Uh But the whole team, we went down there and we did better this year. We got silver medal. Sil- silver medal last year yeah, in South that, Africa. Right. Get, yeah. beat by the South African team. And we knew going into this event that, of course, the the Mexico team would have a big leg up on us. Mm-hmm. And not only did they have a huge leg up on us because they had lots of experience on this pond, but they had an unbelievable amount of team members oh, they that did. were on the water, not, comp- not competition time, but practice time. Okay. I mean, yeah. when, when they all went on the podium to receive their medal, they're – Looked like there was at least twenty five of them. Oh my gosh! What a team! Yeah. All, they yeah. brought all their elves and helpers. Yeah, they brought everybody yeah. up there, and you, yeah. you, you, you guys had had your group up there. And uh, one hundred and thirty five. Let's see, one hundred and thirty five pounds, six ounces. Yeah. Uh, and Mexico got ninety five ten. Uh, yeah. That. Uh, that's two days. That's two days, boys. Three boats in two days. Three boats in two days. Wow. So you're, wow. T- you're telling me. Uh, that's a lot of bass. Mm-hmm. Sure is. I it mean, sure is. Fred, yeah, Fred. Uh, let me tell you, David Fritz. David Fritz really set us set us on the right course in this deal. Uh-huh. Fred and I's attack was top water and shallow, and occasionally getting offshore on o- obvious stuff. Yeah, in practice. Uh huh. We eliminated all that shallow stuff. We eliminated it. It wasn't effective. Fritz expanded on a crankbait bite that was not only offshore but some parallel deeper stuff and it was working and so he calls us he clues us in and we we expand it just a little bit on the last day of practice and again uh, scott martin and canterbury were eliminating stuff uh bolton and dudley uh fritz and uh who else 
I'm I'm missing somebody. Oh, one of our one of our uh, managers fished with Fritz one day at practice. Okay, all right. Um, so it, it was great. And what's cool about this guys is uh, Fred and I are sitting out there the first day of the tournament, and we've got about twenty eight pounds. Twenty eight pounds. Pretty okay. Good, pretty good. Freaking sack of bass. Yeah, yeah. You'd like to have so, that in a tournament. Yeah, okay. Oh man. <laughs> yeah. So I look up. At, I look up at Fred as I met another six pounder for him, <laughs> and I look at him. I said, Fred, we need to spot lock and call our teammates in to tell them. I said it will do us no good to catch another giant bass here mm-hmm. when our teammates, you know, might have. At the time, I think they had around eighteen pounds. Okay. Yeah. The rule in this deal is 50 meters away from another contestant's boat, even if it's your own team. You're not allowed to come within 50 meters of them. All right. So we spot locked. So how do you how team. do you get your team together then? We called them. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> come on over for a powwow. We, yeah. yeah. We're allowed to use our cell phones. Okay. So if a team's struggling, they'll, they'll call you. Or if you're doing super well and you've really figured something out, you call the other two boat captains uh-huh. and say, "Hey, Scott, Fred and I got on a, you know, we did this in South Africa. I said we got on a pretty good little jig bite, and we said this is what you look for." And he said, "Got it." He said, "Hey, we got on a good seawall bite." We he said, "Go look at this, this, and this." We got it. Dialed in. Dialed in. Dave Fritz dialed us in. Fred and I real or Fred really dialed it in with a big giant crankbait. And before I knew it, he had five that weighed 30 pounds. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and when we left, when we left that spot and Scott Canterbury and Scott Martin pulled in, yeah, they come in, they had a decent little bag of bass, and they caught 35 pounds. <laughs> 35 pounds. <laughs> yeah. And our other team, uh, Fritz and uh, Dudley, yeah. they had like 20 pounds. So we blew them away the first day. Yeah. Yeah, that gave Got you. out there that. Yeah. You jump started and, and kicked yourself and uh and, and this lake is Lake Ch- Chuchillo? Uh Yeah. Where, El Cachillo. Where is that close to uh China, which looks like China. China, Mexico. China, Mexico. Mm. Which, okay. Yeah. Is that central Mexico? Is it Lake Guerrero or anything like that? Well, I don't have a globe here in front of me. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, I just want to make sure you knew where you were. You know you're in well, Mexico, okay? Yeah. yeah I'm in Mexico. It's yeah. a whole other planet. It's a whole other planet, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And the rules are all but, 15 nations, the way I understand, which is up from yep. uh, from last year. And so you get to compete against a, a lot of different countries and things along that line. But you guys seem to the to click. Was, was there a... A set before you went down there and said, "Hey guys, we've got to catch this number of pounds." Was uh, you just said, "Let's just see what happens." How do you plan for this? In other words, what's your well, what's your preparation drill? Well, we let we let the managers of this uh, Tony Forte, uh-huh. John Knight, yeah, and uh, and Ben do all the logistics. They're they're responsible for saying meet here on this date. Okay, and here's what to expect, and. I tell the team, you know, I hey guys, I got the buzz baits. I got you know, <laughs> okay. The good, the good thing about this is different than last year, guys. We actually pulled our boats. To oh make, yeah. So I'm, oh I'm okay. Geographically located, McAllen, Texas, was our point of entry. Okay. Our point of entry. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hey James, nope. uh, tell our listeners how important was it to use electronics to find <laughs> yeah. the fish that y'all did. We were so handicapped, Ron. Electronics is everything. On, going on a strange lake, we mm-hmm. had zero maps for this lake. Zero, <laughs> zero maps. Wow. Yeah. Listen to this, guys. Yeah. Cool. Here's what's cool, guys. Uh, Lawrence has a live mapping system on their on their H on my HBS 12 now, mm-hmm. and Garmin also has a live mapping system. So as you're trolling motoring along, or you're driving along at a at a decent speed mm-hmm. it is it is making contour lines for you huh. wow <laughs> so once we and you get a bike, we kind of idle around and build a map to see what we're looking at and, and you guys share before it. you know it yeah that's right that's right yeah well, we shared away points. is that not cool yeah it's a, it's a team 
Can, it's a team. Can, can I turn it off on my lake, though? <laughs> can you turn it off yeah. on your lake? Yeah, you don't want it on your lake. Okay, do I don't that. Want to... it on my lake. <laughs> hey, again, we're talking to James Watson uh, uh, out of the Missouri area, and I know that uh, I think it's Lampy. Is that the way you pronounce it? Yeah, uh, and, and, Lampy. I yeah. live right here on Table Rock Lake. On Table Rock Lake, and uh, yep. and we might throw in there again that a uh, former drill sergeant. I always remember that James from our. Uh, yeah. Early discussions, and it takes a drill sergeant to be a pro fisherman now, uh, just yep. about the discipline and things along that line. And uh, uh, are, are they going to, you know, sa- before we let you go, South Africa last year, Mexico this year, are they going to continue this, hopefully? Uh, and ex- yes, yes. Unfortunately, February, they're going to have the uh, 16th World Championship. February. To, yep, in February, it's back to South Africa, but it's going to be in coordination with bunch of other uh uh usa fishing things like fly fishing oh okay okay i mean you, you, I, you'll I'll, be you'll be busy in february right so uh, I, yeah and all so all of us <laughs> tour guys we're not we're not going to make it so they're going to have to pull a team together um the best representation that they can pull together maybe from you know our bass opens or our triple A's that might not be complete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, mm-hmm. we'll we'll send Ron Wong over there wherever <laughs> you go, and Ron can cook his hush puppies after y'all catch all the fish. Hey, James Watson, thank you, buddy. Uh, congratulations. Uh, hope you have a great holiday uh, coming up, and uh, we'll stay in touch. And uh, yeah, we want to talk to you later down the line on 2019. And, yes, we do. Yeah, and Major League Fishing. Yeah, we'll talk yes, about and it. The, and the Bass Pro Tour, guys. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. We got yes. you, James. Thank you, buddy. Have a great day. Thanks for having me. All right. Have thank you. Holiday. All right, James Watson. Take a break. Come back, and we'll switch to a little fishing gear on uh, Nobody Knows It Better than Ron Stallings. That's uh, with the uh, TTI Blakemore Fishing Products. Uh, we got one called the Live Shot in Lure. Live and Shot. Live and Shot. I just love names. Okay. I wonder what colors <laughs> I they I just have. want to go to Mexico and bass fish. Yeah. I've been there. All right. Been there. Be be right back uh, as we discuss our trips to uh, Mexico. 